welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome! But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm doing a makeover on this laundry room in this old mobile home that we're renting. So if you're interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. We've recently moved into this old mobile home temporarily while we are looking for a house to buy, but it needs a lot of TLC, so we are fixing it up while we're staying here. In today's video, I'll be tearing down a wall, sanding the cabinet and doors, painting the walls, and we'll also be replacing part of the subfloor where it's rotten, moldy, and falling through. This will be a two-part video since my husband was only here for the weekend and we didn't have time to finish building a wall or picking up the washer and dryer. I'm removing the sheetrock off this half wall because of the mold, and my husband will be rebuilding it in an updated video. I'm not sure when that will be, probably after he retires in another month or so, but in the meantime, we're just going to work around it. Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how, you get on down, close my eyes, take me for a ride. We've already renovated just about every room in this mobile home. We replaced the cabinets in the kitchen. We've repaired several sections of the floor that was rotted. My boys and I have painted the whole trailer, including the floor in the living room and the master bedroom. We gutted out one whole bathroom, and after fixing the rotted floor, we then replaced the tub and installed a brand new vanity. We've worked hard to make this nightmare of a rental into a cozy home, and I think it's really come a long way. You're probably wondering why we're doing all this work in a rental, and I'm asking myself that same thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, actually, we had no idea the mobile home was in this kind of a condition when we rented it. We were so anxious to find a rental for as little as possible, so we rented it sight unseen, and we were told it would be move-in ready. Well, I guess I have a different understanding of what move-in ready means because I was quite shocked the day I showed up to get the keys and almost backed out. But we'd already paid the deposit in the first month rent and really didn't have any other options. So the only solution was to work it out with the manager to do all the work for free if the landlord would provide the needed materials and also a discounted rent to cover any out-of-pocket expenses. So that's how we found ourselves in this situation. And I'm not mad about it. I love the location. The view from the front yard is gorgeous. The mobile home meets all our needs in a rental. So we're going to just try to make the best of it. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. planning on removing this flooring but every time I walked through the laundry room I kept smelling mold. I originally thought it was coming from the bathroom but after removing the little half wall I could see black under the edge of the flooring and it was right then that I knew it was going to be bad. The floor was moldy and rotten so just about the whole floor will need to be replaced. <laughs>
I already removed the doors and now I'm preparing the cabinets for paint. I'm securing the front of the cabinet where the frame is coming loose and then I'll be sanding the cabinet and doors. But first I need to mud the walls where they were previously patched before we moved in. Feeling in my bones I can feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know I decided to sand the doors outside. I mean, any chance to get out here and enjoy this beautiful view, I'm going to take it. The view is one of the reasons I decided to stick it out in this old mobile home. The yard and view are by far my favorite thing since moving to the mountains. Middle of the road just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again came in my life I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same again Well I thought I knew What life was all that song had already been sung Alright, so I've moved back inside to start priming the walls and the cabinet and doors. I'm going to be using Kills Primer. And then tomorrow when I start painting, I'll be using an ultra white and semi-gloss for the cabinet and doors. And I'll be using ultra white and a satin finish for the walls. The manager was already painting the trailer with white paint when we moved in, and although he said we could pick whatever color we wanted, I decided to just stick with the white because it really brightens the place up. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I'm
Make you almost know what I am thinking Cause I believe in us I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Cause you're the best thing After priming the walls, I'm going to be vacuuming around the heating unit. I don't think it's been cleaned since forever. It's super dusty and needs a good cleaning. We're going to hire an air duct cleaning company to come out and clean out all the vents and to make sure the unit still works good. I hear the winters in the mountains can get really cold and we're definitely going to need a good working heater. This ceiling light is on its last leg. I accidentally bumped it and it fell right down from the ceiling and it's just dangling there. I'm hoping it will last until my husband comes up for the weekend. We'll just have to wait and see. He tried to talk me through how to change it myself, but I'm just too scared of electricity. Knowing me, I will definitely shock myself. Mother Nature played a dirty trick on me. I saw the one dark cloud up in the sky and it was blowing away. And the rest of the sky looked clear as far as rain clouds go. So I went ahead and put the first coat of paint on my doors and then decided to go take a nap to let the walls and the doors dry. But while I was sleeping, the sky opened up and dumped a ton of rain on my doors. We got them inside, but I learned my lesson. The weather here in the mountains can definitely change in a heartbeat, that's for sure. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers
It's another beautiful day in the Virginia mountains, and it's time to start painting the walls. I'm using semi-gloss on the cabinets and satin on the walls. The ceiling light finally broke, so I called the manager and asked if he could replace it for me. I'm comfortable doing a lot of things, but messing with electricity is not one of them. I'm scared to death to get shocked, so I leave that to the professionals. Well, it's another day. I didn't get much painting done the day before since the light stopped working, but the manager came and replaced it for me, so now it's time to get back to work. My voice is just a call away. You don't have to be afraid You don't have to be afraid I'll keep you safe all night and day I'll be where you wanna be Yes, I'll be where you wanna be I'll be your rock, I'll be your man just like from where it all began You're more than everything You're more than everything to me Make me a promise, tell me you love me And that you'll never shut me out This week has been so rainy and I love it I absolutely love a good rainstorm but unfortunately, I don't have any room in the trailer to paint my doors, so I've got to try to beat this afternoon storm and hurry up and get them painted. Try, try, try to be just completely amazing. You're the reason why. When you're still down, when the sun's up, when you really have. Y'all, just try and ignore the mess in the background. I have a bad habit of neglecting my housework when I'm busy doing a project. I haven't made my bed. I have a load of laundry waiting to go to the laundromat. There's still several boxes that need to be unpacked. I really still have too much stuff. I decluttered so much before the move, but I still have a long way to go. I would love to live more minimally. I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. Make me a promise. Tell me you love me, baby That you never shut me out, out, out To me you're a goddess Baby, let me show you what I'm about Call me a lover, call me whatever I'm so happy to finally be able to have a fire pit. I can't think of a better place to spend a cool fall evening than sitting by the fire with the mountains in the background. 
The original fire pit was too far away, so the boys dug a new one, but after a couple of nights of fires, I realized it made me very nervous having it so close to the trailer, so I had them dig a new one in front of the trailer but further away. I've already had one house fire, and I certainly don't want another one. I feel much better with the new location, and I can't wait to enjoy the fire. husband is on his way up to the mobile home for the weekend and I should probably wait for him or the boys to get home from school to help me hang these doors but I'm kind of impatient and I want to get it done before he gets here so I'm gonna go ahead and try and hang them by myself. It's finally the weekend and my hubby was able to come up for a visit. He only has a few days to stay and we have a lot of work to do while he's here. The first thing we're going to do is rip out the old nasty rotten floor. I've nearly fallen through it two or three times already. Once we have the old floor removed, the manager is going to be bringing the new plywood and 2x4s to repair the floor. He's going to be helping my husband so I won't be able to film them putting in the floor, but as soon as they're finished, we're going to be putting down a thin piece of plywood to even out the floor and we will be painting it. We had originally planned to put down vinyl flooring, but it's just not in our budget. And we're just trying to make it livable. It's not going to be anything fancy, but it will be nice and clean. And most important, it will be safe to walk on.
Holy cow, you guys. I don't even have words to describe how I feel about this situation. All I can say is that I'm very thankful for my husband and that he knew how to fix it. So we now have a nice safe floor to walk on. So now we're going to be putting down a thin piece of plywood similar to Luan. They were out of Luan, so this was the next best option. And we're using that to even out the floor, and then I'm going to be painting it. We're not going to be putting down vinyl flooring. Whoever's moving in next, they can do that if they want to. We're just going to paint it and call it a day. Now that the plywood is nice and secure and won't move around, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. I'm going to prime it with a Kills Primer and I'm going to paint it with a Porch and Patio paint in the color Creek Bin. It's the same paint I've been using throughout the whole trailer. That way the whole uh, floor will flow better. Alright, well let's start painting. The weekend has come and gone and my husband is already back in Northern Virginia. We ran out of time while he was here. Not only were we working in the laundry room, but we also filmed our bathroom renovation and you can find that video up on my channel. Well the paint is all dry so I'm going to go ahead and hang a couple of things on the wall and put down a throw rug. There will be a part two to this video, hopefully coming soon. We still need to rebuild the half wall, replace the missing drywall, and pick out a washer and dryer. I would love suggestions on a good washer and dryer set. I hear Whirlpool is the best. I found this home sweet home sign at Kirkland's. It was $29.99 with a 20% off discount. And the rug I picked up at Walmart for less than $20. The sunflower swag I made years ago so that didn't cost anything. 
So I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. I love the black and white with the pop of yellow from the sunflowers. I'll just be even happier once we get a washer and dryer. Because driving 20 miles to the laundromat is getting to be too much, let me tell you. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for another video. I sure hope y'all enjoyed my laundry renovation and be on the lookout for part two coming soon. All right, y'all. Well, I hope to see you in my next video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.